What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back again with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great out there, as usual. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to make a Young Thug type beat using Captain Plugin's Epic. Young Thug is one of the most versatile artists in rap music, and there's not really like a very specific style or box that you could place him in as far as his beat selection. He's hopped on a ton of different types of beats. So I'm just basically going to pick one of those styles that he's worked in in the past and just build a beat around that. Some of his beats incorporate a lot of different horn elements to give it that epic feel. Other ones utilize a lot of spacey pads that give his unique vocal range a lot of room to maneuver. And other times he utilizes guitars in a similar way to how Gunna uses them. So I'm gonna try to incorporate a few of those elements into this beat that I'm making, and hopefully the end result is something similar to something that Young Thug would ultimately wanna use. So with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Logic, and I have Captain Chord's Epic pulled up, which is my typical starting point as you probably know if you've seen any of these videos. We're working in the BPM of 119 today. There's no specific range when it comes to Young Thug type beat. I've heard him rap on slower beats like this, faster beats all the way up to like 160 BPM. So we're just gonna stick with 119 for today. And we are in the scale of C minor, which I think works well for his vocals. But really he's so versatile, especially like with his actual tones that the key doesn't really even matter that much. Like he'll, he'll make it work, <laughs> you know? It's pretty impressive what he can do. So I wanted to start off with a basic chord pattern. I utilize just the basic piano setting just to kind of set the foundation of what I'm trying to do. And then from there, I'm gonna add different sounds from different plugins and whatnot. But I laid down this very basic uh, progression here, starting with a G minor chord, simple three note chord. And then what I did, is I took this root note here and I copied it and brought it down an octave to create a bass note to give it a little bit more frequency range, essentially. I added some accent notes to kind of go down the scale into the next chord here, which is a C minor chord where I did the same exact thing, just took the root note, which is C here, brought another note down, 12 semitones to give you that bass note. And then I repeated this G minor chord added some additional notes here, and then added another C minor chord, but this time, in addition to the bass note, I also put a top note here, as, as you can see, just to add a little bit of variation to it. And I basically did this just by clicking these top buttons here at the top of Captain Chord's Epic, which will allow you to place different chords in the scale that you want. So instead of relying on the rhythm banks, and the top chord progression banks that you can kind of cycle through here. Instead of doing that, I just stuck to the basic chords in the scale using the buttons up here. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can approach this with Captain Plugins Epic, and I try to do a different one every time. So that's what I did today. And in addition to that, you'll notice that some of these notes don't hit exactly on the grid. I wanted to create kind of like a strum effect essentially. And you can either do that manually just by like moving the notes around, or you can highlight a couple notes and then click this humanize button. And that will provide you with two different options to create like a strum effect, which is pretty cool. And that like moves everything slightly off the grid grid and also changes the length of the notes but i'm just going to leave those bass notes where they are because i want the bass notes to hit on the grid with all that being said this is what the pattern sounds like just with the basic piano So from there, I exported the MIDI into my DAW from Captain Plugins Epic, and I found a preset in Omnisphere that I liked called Colors. And so now this is what that pattern sounds like. From there, I opened up Captain Melody Epic to create a top line melody to complement the chords that I just created. For this, I just clicked in notes until I found something that I liked. 
knowing that whatever I click in will sound good in the scale due to how Captain Plugins works, and make sure everything sounds good with what you've created previously and link everything together. I kept it on the back to square one sound preset, again, just as kind of a placeholder for what I'm ultimately gonna do. But this is what the top melody that I came up with sounds like. So I went ahead and did the same thing, exported the MIDI from Captain Melody Epic into my DAW, loaded up Omnisphere, and found this cool flute preset called Hyrule. Shout out Zelda. And I used that for the actual sound that I'm gonna use for this counter melody. And together, they sound like this. But I didn't stop there. I'm trying to add a bunch of different melodies to this beat. So I opened up another instance of Captain Melody Epic and clicked in another pattern. I wanted some epic strings. If you know anything about me and my music production style, you know I love me some epic strings. So that's exactly what I did. I used the cello preset built in to Captain Melody Epic and I created this pattern right here. You can't tell me that doesn't sound epic. The string presets in Captain Plugins are actually really strong, but I ultimately ended up switching to something in the Philharmonic plugin. And so this is what it sounds like with that plugin. So from there, I thought we were almost good to go, but I wanted to add a couple more little subtle elements to the melody just to kind of complete the composition. You know what I'm saying? So I added this guitar sound from Omnisphere, this choir sound also from Omnisphere, and this tremolo guitar thing i don't even what is it actually called let's see mandolin tremolo i added that as well i thought it sounded pretty cool so together here are all the melody components playing simultaneously Super dope as far as I'm concerned. At that point, the only thing left to do is add the drums and arrange it, and we have a beat. So I went ahead and created this drum pattern. Young Thug beats have basic trap drums like pretty much all the rappers out there these days. The drum patterns don't really change too much from subgenre to subgenre unless you're doing like a drill beat. So this is the pattern that I came up with. I just tried to keep it somewhat simple, but as bouncy as possible. That's kind of my rule of thumb when it comes to the drums. And this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so just a basic clap pattern, some little bouncy hi-hats, not too much craziness going on there. Accent snare, open hat pattern, bongos, and then of course the 808s, which I'll zoom in so you can see the whole pattern. Yeah, whoop, there we go. Got some rolls going on, and then a simple kick as well that just hits on some of the 808 notes, but not all of them. So yeah, those are the drums. Now I'm gonna arrange this thing and let you hear the full beat. And that's about it, so let's do it. All right, so the arrangement is complete. I've gone ahead and added a few different sound effects like transition sounds that you can see here. You'll hear them in a second. I have the intro, it goes right into the chorus, and then you have the verse, a little bridge situation, back into the chorus, and then that whole thing just kind of repeats 
and then there's an outro. So I'm gonna play this for you and get on out of here. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Luke for Prez. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Mixing Key YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.